We're at Waterfall Glen in Darien, Illinois, this week on Trike Trail Tours. All right, this week we were on the Waterfall Glen Trail in Darien, Illinois. It is full of twists and turns up and down and all over the place and some uh, pretty terrific scenery too. We, we did find the waterfall, you'll see it. It's, uh, well, let's, let's just say you'll find out for yourself. And uh, not to mention uh, the promise of a few mermaids coming out of the water there. The, uh, the path is mainly crushed gravel, crushed limestone, a few spots with some pavement, a few roads to cross, uh, a couple plank bridges, and general scenery, but we'll show you some of the most interesting things. If you're on a trike, if you try and cross some of these streets, there's going to be some difficulty if you don't downshift fast enough because you may find yourself <laughs> on an incline where you may have to just unclip and go on, on foot. <laughs> See, he's thanking you. That's nice, yes. Drivers are polite here. Although if you're crossing the street on foot, they may not stop. So make sure you're looking both ways, like they said in school, and do it safely. This is a trail for advanced riders. You should be fit and uh, do this trail well into the season if you're going to try to attempt this. Because if you're going up some of these hills, you're gonna to have to downshift quite a bit and uh, get ready for some huffing and puffing if you're not quite ready for it. Also, I would say take the trail west to start out. You'll be able to uh, enjoy some of the uh, declines, some of the hills going down. There is some uh, great speed you can work up as well but it's, it's a lot of fun going down some of these trails. So how do you handle doing sharp turns when you're on limestone and um, you're going downhill and you're doing speed? How on a trike do you handle doing those well, turns? Well, like, like anything, you would actually get to the uh, inside of the curve and lean into it and take it as quickly, well, don't take it as quickly as you can. Keep your hands on the brakes, but uh, seriously, hug those curves, ride them out, don't have to pedal because uh, gravity will take you down as and quickly no, as no it can. And no sharp, sudden movements, otherwise you're gonna be on two wheels like Yes, yeah. or a tumbling head over heels. Yeah, we don't know, we don't like that. Or head over wheels, in that <laughs> case. We haven't done that yet, but let's make sure we don't. We don't. Okay, <laughs> okay. What are they doing? Is it going camping? <laughs> Couldn't tell you. Just like that. That is slick.
And what library was this, if you can shed some light? Good question. I Googled it once, but just... Okay. So I presume this was like the front or something? I, I, I think so. And then that, that address number? Possibly, that's it. Okay. I see. Let's go in a little further, shall we? Okay, thank you. All right. Of course, never happening upon this before. I don't know if we're looking at foundation here. It looks like probably we are. I see a possibly cellar wall here and a wall made of looks like native stone. Definitely wall way back there. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. And then cool. Oh yeah, just like that. Alright. Interesting. Okay. Definitely something to look up and talk about. Okay, well, we made it to Waterfall Glen, or part of it. It's uh, looking pretty dry down there. The thing about the waterfall at Waterfall Glen is that when the water is rushing, it is really beautiful. And there's a story we need to look up also about how it was actually built because it's not like a natural uh, creation. Mm -hmm. They're like a slate. Um, of the slabs of rock and thing like that. Ah. My favorite picture that I've seen on the internet um, is a girlfriend of mine who uh, wore her mermaid outfit and she posed along the waterfalls. <laughs> I'll have to share that with you probably. Oh, do, yes, yes, I'd love to see <laughs> there that. There are mermaids in Waterfalls. Mermaids? There was. All right. That's a mystery. Shh, don't tell. Okay. <laughs> We're going to circle around to where the falls actually are or were. Check that out. Go get your hotel. All right, we have made it. We are at Waterfall Glen. You can see the water coursing over the precipice right there. It is one of the most, so wow, it's wow. incredible. All of maybe four feet tall, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not getting much in the way of, uh, yeah. You really have to pull back to see the grandeur of this. And here we are, guys. It is what it is. At least there's something coming down. That's the good thing. So, they can always say, I've been to Waterfall Glen. That's great. 
<laughs> Why don't you come here sometime when it's really been raining and you can see how much it really is coursing over the precipice below. You know, we can walk across them because there's no water. Let's do that. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Try doing this during the spring rains. Ah, yes, of course. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Definitely beautiful. You can just picture this during the rainy season. We'll have to make a second trip. Shift enough to go up No, this. no, you have to keep it going too. Absolutely. Oh, here we go. Is there, water? there she blows. Yay. Yes, oh, absolutely. Oh, look at that. Whoa. I'm going to try. Oh, <laughs> it's a squirter. Well, there you go. Do you need any water? I think I might. All right, let's get this thing pumping here. Because the great thing about these trail side pumps is not just the water that comes out of the fountain. Oh, baby, look at that. But you can fill up real quick just like that. Perfect. Yes. And here, I thought you were going to have to go <laughs> a little thing. Uh, and we're at the end of our trip here. Waterfall Glen proved to be not only a challenge, but beautiful in many spots. And if you're viewing this in uh, early October, as I am putting this up, I would say come out in the next few weeks when the leaves are really in color. You'll be able to see them. We're seeing some, uh, some golden yellow leaves right now. Most everything is still green, but in the couple weeks it'll really be beautiful so I'm stumbling over my words again can I say something else well I'm not gonna stop you am I so <laughs> yeah go ahead I would say that for those of you who look out the window from your homes in the morning and you thought you had a bike trip planned but the clouds look terrible and you're looking at the radar and you're looking at the forecast and it says rain and thunderstorms but you really need to go to the place where you're biking and 
persevere and go bring your bike go and then when you get to the site then make up your mind if you're gonna go or not and by the way what's wrong with riding in the rain we should do a rain video we should do a rain video yeah let's do a rain video yes it will be soaked but we'll try that next time being soaked is fun <laughs> depends on the t-shirts you're wearing <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> i haven't taken a drink for that one yeah do that and i'll sign off next time we'll see you then at trike trail tours